I was like, I don't think you need to tell me. I was like, that's not, I don't think that's for me. I know. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do with that. I was like, I knew you were. No, I just. He's like, I was dealing with it. Yeah. No, I saw that. So I was like, percentages of the whole Yeah, you guys lost some. Thank you. Jeremy Banks did not sign in either. Oh, he didn't? No. Well, but he's, I know he's good, but. I don't think he really needed to come again. But no, but I appreciate him coming. I bet you'll come to him. Maybe no. Um, so I went to Starbucks and I ordered a Christmas bun and they said they don't have that. That doesn't exist. You mean Again? Christmas bun store. No. So then I was there this morning and there was like a bag of Christmas blend. So I took a picture of it and sent it to Becky. Like, like there's Christmas blend right here. Like why? Why are all these places saying that that doesn't exist? They said that's just blonde roast. And I was like, no, there's commercials. No. Whereas like a hint of the spice, <gasps> mango, spice, yeah, right. So she just sent me back. And there's a Thanksgiving blend. She just Matt, you should picture of the class today. Well, I took it on the app, and they don't have it. Like the Christmas one. It's well, gonna be so easy. Yeah. You can do your expenses more than quarterly. Yep. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And it'll get declined if it's too late. Yeah, I'll show you an example. Oh, yeah. I never got that welcome either. I got that. Oh, it's okay. No. We didn't send You'll get it after that. Yes. Like, uh, Ali, I'm just going to quickly talk about great. signing so, you real quick. I'll try to get ahead of you. Right? I'm going to pre. Hi, how are you? You're going to be more taken. Here's $2,000 I'm going to spend. <laughs> I'll give you my receipts later. <laughs> Like a PO? Should we right. do a PO? Just give me an open PO. Would be <laughs> I don't know what happened this month. I was like, 
Where? We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Um, make sure to sign in if you're here in person. Um, I think all of you have. Um, and then if you're attending virtually, make sure to use the chat feature or email me if you don't have a Google account to let me know that you're here. So, um, Allie's going to start us off by going through the website of Concur. Jen, please do it. Jen is going to go through the website first. <laughs> like, how is this um, but I know Allie has some, some words, and yeah. then I'm going to go through the mobile app. So. Um, thank you guys for coming. I'm really excited to roll this out. This should hopefully make everyone's life a lot easier. Um, we did this to just create some efficiencies, streamline our process, and also create some more visibility around our expenses. Um, we'll have better reporting. We can easily allocate expenses directly to customers so we could analyze profitability and all those, all those types of things. Um, but this should also make all you guys' lives easier. So we did say we were going to send the welcome email, but... Um, I, I had asked them to hold off just because we had just sent that benefits email and I had a lot of questions like, am I supposed to click on this? What is this? So I wanted to wait till after the training so everyone knew where it was coming from. Um, and I, I appreciate everyone always asking before you click because there is a lot of spam going around. Just like a ton of us got it this last week. So don't click on anything if you don't know. <laughs> there's, there's my IT disclaimer. But no, so you'll, you'll receive that like shortly after and you have to log in. Um, within 24 hours of the link will expire and then we would just have to reset it. But, um, and before Jen starts, um, we hope to go live with this in 2020, so your De December expense reports that are due the first week of January. It would still be the same cycle um, where your, your expense reports are paid out the first week of the month to the Monday of, um, the first Monday of the month. And I would like, yeah, I would like all the, we, just for like year-to-date accurate reporting and stuff, I really would like all the, the data in there to come January, so. It should be easy, and obviously, if you have questions, we're here to help, so. You could, say anything else? All right. Um, so what's great about this is obviously there's a web-based site and then a mobile. Um, so I'm gonna just walk you through the website to show you how to create an expense, and then Catherine will show you how to do it on your mobile device. Um, so, yeah, after this, like Ali said, I will be sending out your welcome emails with your username and then you'll reset your password. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Um, mine may look a little bit different since I am like an admin, but uh, basically this uh, header right here should all look the same. Um, so you can start a report, you can upload receipts. Um, Catherine's gonna show you how to take a picture of a receipt on your phone. Um, you can do your expense report there, but if you take a picture of your receipt on your phone, it should kind of show up in here as an available expense to add it if you then want to do it on the website as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start a report. Um, and our report name, uh, we, we would like to kind of be uniform. The first three letters of the month, the year, and then your last name. Anything that is in red is a mandatory field. Everything else is optional. Uh, the report date, it's just the date you do your report. Um, it doesn't matter. So then I'm going to go to next. And this is going to kind of show you your screen. And in the bottom right-hand box, these are all of the expenses that are available to you. Um, the system is pretty smart, as they all say, so you can see at the top, it's my recently used expenses. It'll get to know you, and like if you use an expense more frequent, um, it'll kind of put all of that in the top so it's easy to use. Um, the first one I'm going to do is a personal car mileage. Um, so when you go ahead and click on that, it's actually kind of, I think it comes from like Google Maps or something. It's, um, so. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and type in the address to and from where you are going. Um, it's also going to kind of remember. So let's. I'm just going to go from corporate um, to Grove City. And it should bring a drop down of your most frequently used as well. Um, mine is not working that way for some reason, but... Um, and then it also gives you suggested routes. So this is like the easiest. This is probably how everyone goes, but if you use another one, you can click on it. If you make it a round trip, so I'm coming there and back, you just click on this one to make it a round trip. 
and it go ahead, it's going to calculate the miles right here on the bottom. All I'm going to do is hit add mileage to my expense. And most of the red that is mandatory is already populated, but I need to put in the date of my travel. So I went on Monday. Um, and a business purpose, um, let's say we did a training. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. So that is my first line item expense um, on my expense report and it go ahead and it calculates the amount that's already paid out to you. So that should be really easy for mileage. You can do it every time you go. It makes it like really easy. Another expense, let's go ahead and say we are going to do um, meals. I'm taking a client or I'm taking meals to a client, taking a client out to lunch. Um, business purpose. Um, here we can say we had a peak meeting, <coughs> vendor description, took them to late night slice, out of pocket is the amount. Your department is going to populate already with your guys' uh, departments that you're already in. No need to touch that. Um, one thing when we are taking clients out, we really appreciate you guys putting in who that client is. Like Ali said, if we can start kind of seeing the spend on what we're doing out of pocket individually with it. So for this, let's say L Brands. Um, and a comment is just a quick comment to your manager of what this expense is for. Why did we take them out? So um, I could say we're going to, we're meeting on, you know, the turnover at L Brands. Just to give them a little bit of a reason of why this expense is there. Um, when we're taking clients out, we want to go ahead and at the bottom here, there's a part for attendees. Your name's automatically going to pop up. Um, you can add a new attendee or go to like an advanced search. It's going to remember, so if you use um, somebody more and more, if you just click on your favorites, it's going to start remembering everyone, who they are. So Mark Smith, I took out. I'm going to add them to my expense report, close it, and there he is added. Anything needs um, that we're paying out of pocket needs a receipt to it. So I'm going to attach my receipt here and see right here, like let's say I took it, I have an available receipt already waiting for me. Or you can go to your browse. If you have a PDF or a JPEG saved on your computer, you can also hit browse and just go and add the receipt that way. And then I'm going to attach it. Save it. If you forgot to attach a receipt, you went ahead and you saved it, this little circle will be yellow, indicating that there's like a warning or an error that something is missing. So it will be yellow and it'll tell you um, you need to attach a receipt. Um, any questions so far? Yes. What does it look like to add somebody? Is this pulling from anything, from a contact list? Okay, so I will show you. I'll do another one. But um, you can add someone very easily. All Dawson people are already in there. You can kind of search them. But if it's a client that you add to new, I will show you how to do that. And say we're taking a client out, state auto. Do mm -hmm. I need to list all three clients maybe that were with us or all three of the individual client names or just one of them? Is there a preference? Yeah, I mean, usually on your guys' expense reports, you guys name everybody who was at your okay, and stuff. Cool. So yeah, I mean, like, that's sometimes, like, valuable information. Like, and it directly allocates, like, each expense, okay. like, their portion of the receipt and stuff. So, okay, um, I mean, if it's a group of 10 and it's, like, more, I mean, you can just write, like, customer service, 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 service. just like that manager or whatever. Okay, uh, sounds great, thank you. But if your bill is like high and there's only two people, that you know, that might kind of say like, you know, so that it kind of helps to put everyone on there as well. So I'm gonna do a meal again and I'll show you how to add someone new. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Um, I'm gonna cancel that. 
and I'll show you how to add. Um, so we have like a Meals client, Meals colleagues. So I'm a new colleague, but I'll, I'll show you how to add someone. Um, this one we are going to do, let's say, I have a Starbucks receipts. I think I, I, I took Lori. <laughs> I took a couple people's. Uh, and this was like an incentive for, you know, I think it was office. So I'm going to say it was office incentive. Vendor description is Starbucks, out of pocket. Comments, just a quick comment. We'll say, I don't know exactly what it was for, but we'll say it was a cardinal submittal incentive. Just making it up. Okay? Um, here, I'm just going to show you how to add someone new. You're just going to click on new attendee. Um, there's a drop down of the attendee type. If it is a business guest, an employee not using Concur, that, you'll probably just do business guest because all of our employees are in Concur. So we're going to do, I'm just doing Smith again. This time's Mike and his title, customer service manager. Company, state auto. Now you can hit save and add another or just save. Now once you add him once, the next time you go in and if you go into an advanced search, recently used, um, he should be there. Probably need to refresh it or something. So the next time you go in, they'll be there. So you just add him once and then, then it will save it. Thanks, Ben. Um, so let's say, um, on the rare occasion, because on most expense reports, you know that all receipts need to be included. But let's say we lost a receipt. There's still a way that you can submit. Um, you just have to kind of sign an affidavit that this is a valid expense. I just lost the receipt. Um, so you'll hit on the attached receipt portion. And very tiny over here, there's a blue. You're going to click here. I always do this, sorry. I have to save this first, and it has to show that I'm missing the receipt. So I have to save it. Like I said earlier, this is going to be yellow, so that's indicating I'm missing something. So I'm going to click on this line item, and you'll see receipt image required. So now if I go back to attach my receipt, and I don't have it, I can click here, and now that expense is showing as an option. Um, it's going to create something and I'm going to accept and I'm going to create this affidavit. So you can kind of see, it kind of does the expense showing that is missed. So now I'm done. This is my expense report for December and I want to go ahead and submit my report. So you just click submit report. It's going to ask if this is confirmation and submit, and it kind of just gives you kind of a breakdown. All right. Are we already linked to our manager? Yes, yeah, all that's done in the back end, yeah. so it knows where it's going and everything. So, any questions on the website? Okay, great. Catherine will show you the mobile app. throughout the month and then just submit it at the end when it's completed. So if you want to like add as you go and stuff, um, she'll show you how to take pictures of your receipts, but you could just always take pictures of your receipts right after you spend and then throw them out and they're just there in your available receipts and then like at the end of the month you can go through and you know fill it out like where so you don't even have to like deal with that anymore. And the um, I'm jumping ahead, but the receipt it's like it'll read the receipts and sometimes like try to guess to fill it out for you. So it would say Starbucks $25 or whatever. You just have to make sure review that it read it correctly, but it, it's pretty like um, slick. But it's not the digital scanner or whatever. Or So I 
I actually am going to show you my phone. So you can see this live. If it, if it works with me. I also have um, quick reference guides that I'm going to send you guys for that website, the mobile app, so it'll walk you through step by step on how to do everything. So. So it's pretty um, user friendly. You guys, I have no doubt, will be able to do this. Um, there's lots of things you can do in here. So, uh, again, the quick reference guide that I'm going to send to you um, will show you all the details. But if you click this expense report, this middle box, that's where you guys can actually start creating a, an expense report. So if you click that, um, it will bring me to some other reports that I've already saved. But to create a new report, all you have to do is click the plus at the tippy top of that screen or um, to also create a report if you want to copy report or you can delete a report right from um, the actual line item. So I'm gonna go in here and click the plus sign to actually start a brand new report. So this looks very similar to what Jen just showed on the website. Report name it automatically defaults to today's date and it says report, but again, we want to follow the format, which again is in the quick reference guides and Jen showed you. So first three letters of the month, followed by the year, followed by your last name. And then uh, you can leave the report date as today. Click create, and this is gonna start creating your expense report. So right now, again, I'm at zero. Um, but let's say I wanna add a new expense in here. I go to the plus sign at the top, and it's going to ask me a question. It's going to say, do I want to add a brand new expense, or do I wanna grab something that I've already uploaded, uploaded like a receipt. Um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a new expense just for today's purposes and I can show you how to add the receipt in a little bit. Add new expense and then you'll go in here and see all of the different types of expenses that we have allocated. Um, you'll scroll down, let's say you wanna do the personal car mileage, which I know again, Jen just showed you on the website. Um, but you would go in here, click add route um, and this one, again, like Jen mentioned, they're pretty smart. So I have gone to three places for a dozen. Um, so if I start at our home office here, click Add Destination. Let's say I want to go down to or go over to the Gahanna office. I can click that route um, and use that route. So it's saying that I'm going to use route 12 and a half miles. But there's also another route that I could have taken, that I could select too. So if I want to select that, I would just highlight it and click it. So, um, I'm gonna use the most direct route, and then click use 12 and a half miles. Go through here, fill out any required fields, but for the most part, everything's already done. Um, if there, I was going to a client, I could actually add in the client down here at the bottom, too. And all you have to do is click save. Sorry, quick question. Yeah, Where would you do the yeah. round trip option? The round trip, um, so let, I think you have to actually, I don't think there There's was an like, option. Is there an option? Is it like a little dot? At, at the top of the options, that's okay. a good question. Save. Um, so let's say I add another route, let's say I come, go to the Grove City office. <clears throat> and we click options at the top, um, right? Okay. Um, you may want to put like add destination like back to the home to office. office. Let's okay. see. That's a good question. Yeah. Looks like that worked. So if I go from yeah. Dublin Road to certain town back to Dublin Road, it just automatically populates in there. So I don't think there's like a click like a round trip option. Use 18 miles and then you click save. So it's gonna automatically stack up these expenses in here. Um, the other one too, so let's say I've already uploaded a receipt because, so let me show you how to do this. So, um, so back on that main screen, there's this little button, this little camera here. So in order to use this, you will have to allow access for like your phone to obviously and concur to access your phone's camera. Um, but once you do that, you'll have access to that little camera. And then you can grab a receipt. Let's say I tried this one yesterday and it was all wonky, but can you guys see this? I'm taking a picture of this receipt. 
Um, it's going to analyze this receipt for me. It's going to, it's pretty smart. It said 17 on there. I didn't even input this in, but it's going to say, is this the amount on the receipt? Click 18, click done, and then it's going to analyze that receipt. Does that make sense? So like once you guys grab a picture of it, then you can, do, you can toss it once it's already uploaded in here. And it will all automatically log to the website. It'll be in your app. And then when you guys start an expense report, you can actually grab that re receipt and add it to, you know, add it to there. So back on my expense report, I'm gonna go back to my December 19. If I go back to that plus sign to add a new expense, if I click add new expense, that's where I can grab that receipt. Sense. So can you show us how you yeah. can add yeah. from expense list. Yeah. From, yeah. Well, so say on your receipt, yeah. you um, like you got something personal. You don't want Dawson to pay for that. So it totals eighteen, but only fourteen was for the client. So there so was this is uh, incorrect. So you would put like incorrect and then add in the okay. actual amount. I would say. So okay. maybe <coughs> on the like desktop. Just, I not, yeah. I'm not positive on the app, but on the desktop, if you do that. There's a little checkbox that I can show you when I plug in. I'll go back to this, where you can write um, like "Do not reimburse this personal expense," and you can check it, and then it'll like pop up a box, and then you can write ten dollars like was for me, and then it'll just like subtract it from the the total that you put. Okay. So I think that'll be helpful. Yeah. So once you're in there, so once I uploaded that receipt, I could just select the available expenses, and let's say it's this. And then once you're ready to submit, all you do is click submit. Are you sure you want to submit this expense report? Submit. There it is. It's so user friendly, you guys, you're gonna love it. So any questions on the app? Allie is going to go through um, like manager approvals. So yeah, just one last thing. Yeah. Uh, so if you're yeah, if you don't have anybody to approve, you guys are free to go. But um, cell phones, if you do have a um, reoccurring cell phone reimbursement, you no still do not you don't fill this out. Like still just you don't include it with your expense report. We still have the batch reoccurring. So um, there's not even a cell phone like option. Is there anything else? Allie's going to show you how to approve. So, do so you have anyone yeah. under you that you get approval for stay? So, that's Yeah, but it's going to give you the keys. It's going to give you the keys. Yeah, that's cute. You might have to be well, it's not starting brand new. You can keep the app in there. You'll just have to keep it signed in. But you do have to sign in on the web before you can sign in on the order. I think most people would have had to click now. Hi. So, so we, um, the welcome email is going to be after this class. So I, um, we just decided, I know this is about to do this, the email that came, and there's a lot of spam going around. Without you guys really yes. knowing what it was, I didn't want you to be like, so it was obvious yeah. from what we said. Um, yeah, so after this, I'm going to go upstairs and I'll send all the welcome emails out. It takes like 30 minutes. You're welcome. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. No, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. I'll go ahead and scroll it. So, you're, you would just take it. I feel like it's on my computer. You'll get an email. You'll be back. Our goal is call my husband. Like, once it's submitted. Yeah. You could click, so, you could click directly from the email, but. Um, Catherine's going or to you just on this out here. She has kind of like guidance. Um, so so there's, there's just a few more test ones out here. So to simply like you can view this, what we just saw her do, you can look at all the comments, the receipts, you know, because we saw all that. Um, to simply approve it, just click the, the red approve button right here. I'm not going to click it because we're in the live environment, but 
Um, there's a few other things that you may want to do, so I'll go through those. Um, so, like, say I'm looking through all this, and there's this one that I still may have a question on mm -hmm. that I want to talk to them about, but I want like them to get paid for everything else, and you know, payroll's about to go through or something like that. You would just send back a certain expense, oh. or it's just not approved. So I want to approve everything else, but not this one. So I'll click this one and say send back expense, and then um, save. And then I'm going to approve the rest of the um, expense report minus this $56. I'm going to say, like, what was this for? Or something, you know, whatever. Right, right. And then that message will go to the employee, and then, you know, that might still be out there to approve later or just not, but you're at least, like, getting everything else paid on the expense report. Um, another example of would be if you wanted to, you can approve and then forward to somebody else. So for example, here's like a Michael's Dosker's expense that Jen did that I think looks fine, but this, I have nothing, to, you know, this, this is the marketing department, so I think Felicia needs to actually approve this. So I'm going to approve this and forward and then you just put in her name and it'll like populate. Um, she just might not be a user yet. Once everyone's in there, sure, okay. like if you start typing, it'll populate, and so you can improve it forward. Um, you know, another example would be like if it's a really high expense that like you, you're a little bit nervous about taking 100% ownership of, and you want Jeff to also approve this too, or mm -hmm. something like that. Like you might want to approve it forward to him, and so you, you know, it's not all on you. Or, Right, or so like they know, like like I don't know, like you have these like big like yeah. expenses, like a dinner that uh, he's already said that's fine, yeah. but like I would like forward it to, yeah. to like this is the dinner we talked about or yeah. whatever. So yeah. he's not yeah. So yeah, I mean it's it's pretty simple. And then if you just didn't want to approve the whole one, then there's um, this one. There's just like a send back to employee, oh, okay. and that's the whole thing. And then you don't have to bring up a comment too. If it's over two hundred dollars, it is automatically going to you approve it, and then it will automatically be forwarded to myself or Jeff okay. um, or David, and they would have to approve it too. So no matter what, it has to go through that process. You don't have to touch it. You just press approve, and it goes into our inbox. But you don't have to like write anything. It's just like a just to further um, like just for a policy. Okay. Is there any like pre-approval? Like say you're going to. I mean, I know like I have yeah. sent you an email yeah. before, but in this new uh, format. Is there, instead of sending yeah. you an email, is there something here you can say, hey, I plan on spending this much and this I is would, I think just still the email, email. yeah. yeah. And then yeah, like she said, like she's a dinner tonight that we know about, but it's still going to flag to me, but that's mm -hmm. that's fine. It's just like kind of following the process. Okay. But yeah, just I would still kind of go through if there's a big something okay. that you're going to, you know, you're expecting or something. And maybe in the comment section is a good place. Like this is pre-approved by Jeff. Right? Yeah. This is pre-approved by Allie for the you know. The comments. Just, does yeah, every expense have a place where you can put your own comment? Yeah, obviously. there's always this comment. Yeah. It's just on your never, own expense report. Yes. Like it's never required. It's not required. Right. But, the, but it's, it's good, good to yeah. have. And then um, can you catch the email approval? Yeah, you probably could. You could, you could as Jeff or C. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, Vivian, just really quick, I'll show you where you could, let me just make, make an expense report, where you could like line it, um, the personal expense, like if you have a receipt. Oh yeah, that was website. a good question, Vivian. Yeah, I do that all the time when I'm at like a giant eagle. Yeah. yeah. And then I just actually need this to I know. And then, like, and then I just subtract it from the receipt. Yeah. I know, I want, to go, I want to go through that with Susan again because she, um, That's obviously nice. goes to the store like what, three days and she like, yeah. um, well, that'll be nice for her. So that is like our, um, that's like where Allie and I, we're in oh. overhead, like you're an MSP, uh -oh. yeah. so we call it like You have to do a private receipt. Oh, yeah, got it. Like based on like after you, right? Yeah, I think so. Hold yeah, on, let me know what you said. Yeah, that's right. Because it's a mount and then it's requested. Right, 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 right. I 
pricing. Do you know what I mean? I, I think yeah, maybe I, 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 I might have to do that by the receipt. I think that it said like you have to put like incorrect in the receipt amount and then you put in like oh that's like the picture. Yeah. So you have to maybe do the okay. picture on the website. Yeah. yeah. Apps. We'll do a little bit more research on yeah. that. And yeah. yeah. That. I, I, I remember it like popping up and you just wrote how many, but it might be up in the receipt. So yeah. Okay. Um, I think I mean that should be it unless you guys have any other questions. Oh, look cute. Oh, I know. Who cares about those? Oh, they're so cute. Look at the doll matches. <laughs> <laughs> With the uniform.